Good afternoon and welcome. I hope that you're remaining safe and I hope that you're all well. The last time that we were together, I was chatting to you about the stern mechanics and the setup and the balance that you can find from that. Today I want to share with you my thought to take the club back. But before I do, I want to show you an exercise, a great exercise to help you create power during the course of the backswing. And it's an exercise where I stand and I visualize a carpet hanging up here. Now if I swing the club back, up, and down towards the carpet, that would be a glancing blow. Equally, if I swing the club down and up to the carpet, that would be a glancing blow too. But if I turn, keeping the club parallel to the ground, that will allow me to make the most direct contact, delivering a lot of speed onto that carpet. And that's really what we're trying to do when we swing the club back uh, and hit the ball. The only thing that is different from beating the carpet to swinging to hit a golf ball is the spinal angle. The spinal angle will fluctuate from club to club, depending on the length of the club. But this is a great exercise to help you, and you can practice this at home. It's going to allow you to get the proper forearm rotation, the wrist hinge, and the wrist cock. And that equals power and accuracy. So it's a terrific exercise for you to practice whilst you're at home. Now, we're prepared to hit the ball. We present the club, build our grip, and we stand, and we find that perfect balance. This is now the drug of the game. This is where the anticipation, all the hours of practice are going to come into play. So we're going to try and swing the club back. Now, do we swing the club back with the shoulders? Do we swing the club back with the hips, the hands, the forearms? Uh, well, I'd like to think that when I swing the club back, I swing the club back with a one-piece movement, and that starts in the shoulders here. I push the club back with my left side, it allows the club head, the hands, and the hub to work in time and together. Now, if I can push the club back with the shoulders here, that is going to allow me to turn my shoulders, turn my hips, gain the forearm rotation, the wrist hinge, and the wrist cock. All of the things that we want to do to create power that we don't really want to think about. So all I've done is set myself up, presented the club. I have a little waggle of the club to get comfortable and then I push the club back with the left side. That allows me to create power and that allows me to create consistency. The next time that we meet, we'll be chatting about the downswing and how we start the downswing. So until next time, thanks very much. I hope you remain well. Take care.